One of the breakthroughs that I often have with golfers is when I can get them to feel their trail hand coming in towards the downswing. So if I can get a golfer really getting a sense of how to sort of straighten the arm in the downswing, what I tend to find is this then allows them to do things like rotate through the golf ball and it makes a massive difference. But there's normally a couple of hurdles that I have to go through first and foremost to be able to do this. Now, the reason why is because most people don't get the functionality right with the trail arm. And what I want to do in this video is I want to really just put some emphasis on the first move in terms of what we're generally looking for in the early part of the backswing, if you like the sort of takeaway. Now, I'm a big believer in trying to get the arms nice and connected to the side of the body. So I like the feeling of the hands kind of moving to the side of the body like so. I also want us to be able to swing the golf club on plane. Now, quite simply put, to be able to swing the golf club on plane basically means if, um, if the, the, the shaft of the club, okay, um, needs to continue to point in a straight line. So if I sort of draw a line, shaft extender here, you can see the way it's pointing at my target line, it's pointing at my target line, and like so, okay? So there's two things that we're trying to do. Get the hands connected to the body, okay? So there's not a huge disadvantage to getting your hands moving away. And the second one is swing the club on plane, right? So that's something that we all have to kind of do. Now, the thing that makes a big difference is if you can allow the trail arm to fold. And what I mean by this is if I kind of keep my, my right arm in the takeaway position really straight, can you see the way that that will make it, well, one of two things will happen. I'll either swing the club way above plane, so you can see the way the shaft's not pointing towards my target line, it's way over in that direction. Um, and then this plays quite a lot of havoc because from here you've then got to try and do something to get the club back into a decent position. Um, or what you'll do is you'll kind of realize that's wrong and then you'll end up having to do a lot with your body to bring the club around, which then gives you a different type of problem because you're gonna get the sequence wrong. So if I can get golfers to just feel this trail arm just folding a little bit in the early part of that takeaway, it makes a massive difference. So a good way to practice this is if you just do trail hand only and then put your, um, your left hand or your lead hand, I should say, on the, on the top of your trail upper arm, okay? And then from there, as I take the club back, you'll kind of just notice the way I allow my hands to move to the side of my body, my right arm bends, okay, and uh, the club stays on plane. And then this gives us a good wrist position, like so. And if you can kind of get used to this feeling here, then you'll be able to continue that up with a rotation, lift your arm up, and then you can get that same feeling then of turning and really then coming in towards this downswing, throwing it through the ball. So once you get the idea of the takeaway, being connected and like so, then it will just feel like your arm is almost moving around your upper arm, like so, and then you can get the feeling of throwing the club through. So let's just quickly talk about that. And a good way to practice this now, turn the club upside down so you're taking the weight out of the club. Again, reposition the hands as I described previously, and then take it back, and then from here, look, listen to this. So all I'm doing is I'm just allowing this arm to straighten. And you can hear I'm doing a very little swing, but I'm swishing it through. And that's a really good exercise then just to start practicing doing some little half swings. Okay, because what you'll notice is actually you're able to get a decent amount of distance with such a short action because you're just becoming really, really efficient at it. So I practice fold the arm, then you can throw it through. That's gonna make a massive difference. I'll catch you with you guys again really soon.